Watch as I turn this innocent YouTuber into a 90s virtual pet. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, I'm Tentabet, your local NSFW furry artist, yet here I am on YouTube. This artwork was an entry for Quite's Persona fan art event. If you don't know who Quite is, he's just some other YouTuber that talks and jokes about internet posts. Uh, his videos tend to be around 10 minutes long and are easily <laughs> e easily digestible. Uh, I would watch some of his videos while I draw sometimes, though I usually prefer longer content. Yeah, I joined his Discord previously because I saw that he had an art contest before where people drew him with his boyfriend Springtrap from FNAF. And of course, I wanted in on the next possible art contest. Luckily for me, this contest had to do with making him a persona, definitely in my wheelhouse. It was announced on the 22nd of August that he was having this contest. So I draw quite as a furry, and I have a possibility of winning. What could be easier? Well, actually I was a bit on a time crunch. Uh, my B-Day vacation was on the 31st. Yes, my birthday was on the August 31st, and now I'm 28, and I've only found the time to draw my entry on the 29th, so I basically had less than 48 hours to make my entry. I gotta be honest, I didn't spend too much time brainstorming on the species, but I still wanted to be unique. The contest logo had him as a bunny, so that was out. Cat would have been too simple as well, so that's out as well. Uh, no, I wanted to make him a scaly, cause this is a scaly household. Dragons are always cool, but no, I had to make him a certain dragon to get a unique edge. So I decided he should be a green drake from Neopets. Okay, maybe I just wanted to draw Neopets. It was either this or the substitute Pokemon that I saw near his gamer fuel. But a Drake had more extremities that you could see even with his shades and face mask on. So now it was just a matter of drawing it. I realized now that I might be more scaly leaning because of all the rare Neo pets uh, they had. They were all reptile based, like the Hissy, the Croc, and the Drake. Sure, there were also a, a Scorchio and the Shoiru, but those are too round, not edgy enough. Literally, character design wise. You get it. Also, I know that the lore slash meme is that Quite doesn't have any legs because the camera only shows his top half, but I've certainly seen his legs in one of the videos, which ruined the illusion for me. I did not take uh, that in consideration, I just let other contestants play with that idea. I know Bolt Chaser, one of my Discord members, told me I should have gone with the snake, but now nah, I'll let someone else have it. As you saw, I came to my sketch pretty quickly. I just had it in my head. And now I just had to have good lines and nice rendering skills and to finally submit. I even thought to try a Fightful's scale tutorial uh, to give me an extra edge. Uh, but honestly, I didn't read it all the way through because I had a deadline to meet. Uh, you can even see me try to make a scale brush. But even after all these years of using Clipsity and Paint, uh, I never learned to make my own brushes. Uh, maybe one day, but not, not this time. So my scale brush attempt failed, so I just decided to draw them by hand. Also, I do highly recommend to, for you to check out Fightful's tutorial and Twitter as well as they're very skilled at drawing scalies and scales and they're, they're a huge inspiration to me. So yeah, I'll link that in the description so you can check them out. So yeah, I basically pulled an all-nighter on this so I can get it in on time. I know the Speeds Paint says 4 hours but I actually started at midnight so it is an all-nighter. I do like working on rendering and shading uh, characters. I think it's really fun. I could go all out, essentially. Maybe I'll do a shading tutorial eventually one day, 
It's just, um, there's so many styles you could go with, and I'm not uh, sticking to one, but there is some tips I usually stick to. But yeah, I had a few layers of shading and a few layers of highlights, and I think it came out pretty good. Um, yeah, I even experimented with the uh, by highlights uh, on the character. Um, <laughs> just, just a nod. Just a nod to the YouTuber. But yeah. Well, here's the final illustration. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think Neopets are lame? Did you see a Neopet or was it just a dragon? Let me know. Uh, what species do you think would have fit better? You know, it's kind of hard to draw a person with uh, their whole face covered. But, you know, it's, it's, a fun, it's a fun little challenge. But yeah, let me know any feedback you have. When I was done, I was pretty nervous to uh, submit my artwork. I wasn't sure what I was going to see in the submission channel. I know he's pretty popular, so I knew there were going to be lots of entries. Regardless, I posted. As soon as I submitted my entry, some users wrote the word chunk in the reaction emoji thingies. Uh, not what I expected, but I am pretty pleased about it. You can remove the thickness in the person, but you cannot remove the person out of the thickness. And thus, I was done. And then I enjoyed my birthday vacation the next day. But then I found out he was looking at submissions during my vacation. Totally thought he would wait next week to look at them. I, I totally thought it was gonna happen, but then I realized he was streaming. The contest just ended on Wednesday. I didn't think the the next Friday they would immediately look at submissions, but it, it, it was pretty exciting to realize this. It was just the third day into my birthday vacation with Rocco. He put the stream on for me as we played Pokemon cards and when we went to dinner. There we were, eating katsu and ramen, by the way. It was really good. When suddenly, my entry came up during the stream. Gay? No. What? I look like out of- I look like I'm out of, like, dragon tails. What was the- what was the show where, like, they opened the- was it literally just called Dragon Tales, where they, like, opened the book and they went to the dragon land? It was very awesome to finally see my entry come up. I knew that the entries were going uh, by alphabetical order by username, so I had a while to wait since uh, my username is Tentabet and T is a long ways. But there was my artwork for all people to see. It was, it was very exciting. It only lasted a few seconds, but it was very, very cool. And what's even more exciting is that I realized he's quite saved my entry for the finalists and I <laughs> And I was this ecstatic. It was. It gave me so much joy. I, and then, it really, it really brightened our dinner up. Me and Rocco's. Uh, he was happy for me. I was happy. And we continue on eating. And then for the rest of the night, we saw Spider-Man: No Way Home Extended Edition, and it was great. I did notice that Quite and the chat did not get the Neopets reference. But I do not fault them because they're they're more like uh, Zoomers, I guess, and not Millennials. I cannot hide what I truly am. I'm almost in my 30s. Uh, quite thought it was Dragon Tales, and someone in the chat said Dragonite. Very cool, but not quite. Anyways, the stream itself was a lot to take in. Seems hectic as there were so many submissions, uh, perhaps even in the hundreds. I know he's popular, but even I wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, don't expect me to host any contests anytime soon. Besides that, it was pretty cool to see all the other submissions, all of the other artworks. It was pretty cool to see what other people came up with. Like what kind of uh, creatures uh, would fit him um, and their art styles. But also there were a lot of cat boys. Glad the Catboy Keek is still going strong. At one point, quite acknowledged that ref sheets can be like $200, even more, 
and when we're seeing ref sheets sometimes and even animations. Yeah, totally true. It's crazy that all this art is going to one person, but hey, it's it's their choice to put how much effort they want to put into it. Uh, I knew I wanted to do a rendered illustration, but I wasn't about to make an animation or a ref sheet for him. It's just a fun little contest. Correct me if I just didn't see it, but it would have been nice if there was some sort of qualifications listed on the winning entry. Uh, I know there were rules like it can't be a rough sketch and it can't be not safe work, but what are the winning pieces going to be based on? Uh, quality, creativity, what animal he liked best, or just overall preference. I think it's more of the latter, but I think it would have been a nice thing to list. The next day, I found out I didn't win. Like how it's drawn. From Crispy Wade, welcome. Hey, it's Dragon Tails Quiet. Big as hell, too. Raccoon, Peacock. I like the Dragon Tails, but I I'm, I'm swapping. I'm getting this, rid of this one, too. Oh, sec pass number two. Pass number two. You love to see it. <laughs> I fucking love my job. But I give my congrats to the winners, finalists, and everyone who participated. Uh, it was a fun little contest to try out. Um, I actually didn't care much for the prize. I don't really need a uh, YouTuber merch. Uh, it would have to be really epic if I were to buy a YouTuber merch. Uh, I was basically doing it for exposure and my uh, two seconds of fame. And also I just wanted to draw a scaly slash neopet. Anyways, yeah, it was just fun to enter. You never know if you'll win if you don't try. I also didn't look at the other submissions uh, before I started drawing just so I don't get influenced. And I'm glad I didn't or else I'll, I'd be scrolling for hours. But it was really cool to what see, to see what others came up with. Sure, there were other dragons I saw, but they weren't Neopet Drakes. But yeah, let me know what you think of my entry. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Tell me. I live for the comments and feedback. Now, come back next week where I make a video asking the question, Are art contests just a scam to get free art? I'm joking. I'm not jumping into that controversy. But I do remember at one point that the consensus on demon art was uh, just for the host to get free art and only paying 5% of the winners. Uh, sorry, I meant contestants. Uh, don't get me started on corporations making art contests where not even the winners are fully compensated. Uh, okay, okay, I'll stop talking about it. Uh, just food for thought. But yeah, I had a nice time. Yeah, I don't know why I made this pink to do, but I'm only gonna use this for this video. I just felt like I needed something to show you while I talked a lot, so yeah. Hope you enjoy both speed paints as well. Well, thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed. Check out my other videos if you'd like. And that's the end of this. I'd like to thank my patrons who are on screen right now. Thank you. I'd like to give a big thank you to my highest tier patrons, Seven Dead Junior, Bolt Chaser, Stormy T Brave, Crowns Knight, Nova Bone Z, Grimitis, Lieutenant Skittles, Zerum, Klepto Kitten, Like This Even Matters, and Bendy and Life is Strange, both proving that episodic game dev is a mistake. Look, I, I can't control who pledges to my Patreon, plus they're the highest tier, so they get a shout out. Again, thanks for watching. Bye!